Uh, just, you know, I thought it created shots for each other, created advantages, trusted the past. We got into a good rhythm. Uh, and then I thought our defense picked up in the second half. Rebounding was good. We had a number of guys, you know, step up and play well. It was good to have Mitch out there again. The Precious gave us really good minutes. And, you know, Deuce got us started with, you know, his aggressiveness. And uh, that was huge. And then, uh, you know, Isaiah, we had everyone played well. Good first uh, taste for Mitch out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, each day he's gotten better. Uh, we, you know, you never know what to expect. Um, but it was a, it's, it's a good baseline for us. And uh, I like the way he moved. Uh, he'll get better and better each day. Well, I think the big thing is you want to have the belief. It starts with belief that you can win. And where does the belief come come uh, come from? And it it's from your preparation and the demonstrated ability to win. And we always feel that if we defend and we rebound and we keep our turnovers down, no matter where we are, no matter who we have, if we do the, those three things, it'll put us in position to win. So. Uh, we we understood when we had injuries to Julius and OG and and Mitchell, you're not going to replace those guys individually, but we can do it collectively as a team, and so that's what we've done all season, and we've gotten a lot better. And then guys have gotten expanded roles, and they've they've thrived with them. So it's a credit to the work they're putting in, and the, and, and not only their individual work, but to work together. You know, so they're creating good basketball on both ends of the floor. The challenge for us is keep getting better. Everyone in this league is capable of beating you. So I, I know it, it, there's always the notion of, you know, like, oh, you should win this game. No, not in the NBA. You, one, you can't get here without being a great player. Everyone has great players. And so uh, I think you're making a huge mistake if you don't put the proper amount of preparations into each and every game. And we're not taking them lightly. I think every night you look and you see there's there's games that where a team that is an underdog prevails, and there's teams that you know we've seen thirty point leads dissipate in nineteen point leads. You know, so you can never let your guard down in in this league. And I think as soon as you start feeling too good about yourself, that's usually when you're going to get knocked down. Tom, you've talked a lot about uh, McBride's improved shot this year, but do you see a different player right now, just his confidence? Yeah, I think, uh, again, where does, you know, it's, and it's, it's a good question, is, like where does confidence come from? Well, it comes from your work that you put in. It comes from your preparation. And then I think when you see the results, and we saw it in practice, you know, with, with, the, with the volume of shots and the accuracy of, of his makes in practice, and then, and now, you, he's, when he came back in training camp, it was it was clear. And, and now that his role has expanded, you know he's got a good rhythm and he can really shoot the ball. And uh, and on top of that, his defense is top of the line. It's it was elite coming in, and it's you know it's it's special to watch. We love the depth that we have at the center position. So. Uh, Isaiah stepped in for Mitch. Mitch was having a monster year before he got hurt. Isaiah thrived in his role. Then Jericho stepped in. And then when we made the trade for Precious, Precious has played really well at both positions. So that's been an added bonus. Uh, and then uh, the way Josh plays is is special is because – I don't, he's just a good basketball player. He he does everything. He rebounds. He plays tough defense. He competes on every play. He hits the open man. Uh, if you cut and you're open, you're getting it. And uh, you met someone mentioned earlier, 37 assists. And guys were trusting each other, and that's important. 145 points for this team. Season high, 37 assists. How much fun are you guys having when you're kind of spraying the ball all over the floor and finding each other? Yeah, I mean, it's a fun way to play basketball. Um, I think what makes it better is, you know, you have so many different guys that are capable of having big nights, and, you know, defensive have, defenses have to adjust to, you know, obviously Jalen being ahead of the snake, and um, guys are just getting open looks and playing with a lot of confidence. 22 threes for the team, deuce with nine. Is there any point where you were wondering if your record of 48 hours was going to be broken? <laughs> yeah, I actually uh, I actually was curious. I thought Tiz was going to leave him in there. I, I actually wanted him to. Um, 
But, you know, obviously we're up big. Um, I told him he's going to have another chance to get it for sure. What did you think about Mitchell and his first appearance in months? It was great. Um, just to have him out there, just to have him happy, um, just his spirit, um, it really is contagious for us. Um, and then not to mention, you know, what he brings on the defensive end.